What's it be to this is Arl Yoshi's usual slide! That was ground pound. <laughs> slide! I'm Max. I'm Rhino. And welcome to more Let's Race Mario 64! I made the the secret uh, the not the secret slide the uh short the the ice slide thing. I mean I, I was doing that and I was in the shortcut the tunnel thing and I just jumped just for the hell of it. Okay, also, I'm looking around. I don't see a red coin. Yeah, in here. I, I just got here. I don't see a red coin either. The hell is that coin? It, did you get the one that's on the tree right outside the cabin? Yeah. Okay, then I don't know. Oh god! Oh god! The ice physics! Holy shit! I looked away from the I looked away from my TV screen. I didn't realize how much Mario was sliding. He almost slid right off the stage. Where the hell is the last red coin? God, the one on the broken bridge, the one in the corner, the one down this the one uh near the snowman head, the one on like the frozen waterfall area. The one outside the tree at the beginning of the race, the one outside the tree at the end of the race. Where the hell is the last one? I have no idea, to be honest. Do you know where the coin is? <laughs> Do you, Pink bob -omb guy? In Mario 64, you can actually talk to those Found guys. It. I was about to say, in Mario, 60, in Mario 64 DS, you could talk to some of those guys and they would mark the locations of coins on your map. Like, only temporarily, only as long as you were talking to them, but... I found it, and I feel really, really stupid. Where was it? <laughs> I'd honestly rather not tell you because I think you're going to find me be like, oh... <laughs> I don't know so if I'm... I say it's like the one single tiny part of the map... My camera never conveniently swung the two. I don't know what you're referring to, but I get that that's pretty bad. What's bad is I was on my way to it multiple times last episode and would have seen it had I completed the trip. <laughs> you just kept getting distracted. Yeah, I was just like, is it over here? Is it over here? It's like you were going right towards it. Oh god! No! Got it! Fucking finally. Where's the fucking. Buddy! Stand still, please! At least I know how to do this last one. Snowman's lost his head. Isn't that literally just chase a snowball down a mountain or something? And I fucked it up. <laughs> how? Uh, how come I can't restart? I guess you I can't can. do it while falling. Yeah, you can't. You have to be. You have to be completely still. Oh God, penguin, please! It's like I know exactly what to do. I fucked it up. <laughs> penguin, penguin, don't you fucking? Oh, penguin, why, penguin? Oh, Did the penguin God. commit suicide? <laughs> no, he can't. He can't. But he is standing right on the edge, and this is slippery. So I'm trying to like slowly make my way over. Okay. <laughs> Must punch. Penguin child. Whew. All right, got the star. Here we go. Little penguin lost. Oh, I have to do the race now. Damn it. Well, I fucked this one up, too. I hate it when you know how to do something. And then you know how you fuck it up, but you I know! I hate that so much, too! It's like, I know what to do! I'm just having a hard time doing it. <laughs> Alright, if I recall, this penguin has, like, really bad rubber banding. Which one? Like, the, the, the race. The race penguin? Yeah, he's pretty much always on your ass. You've gotta beat him at, like, the last second. Okay. I almost went to the shortcut, so I got freaked out. Speak about the last second and on your oh, ass. Well, Snowball, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm dead now. Mamma mia. 
Also, uh, I, I, I think I said this at one point, but if you restart the game, you automatically have, like, four lives, I think. Cool. Like, it resets however many lives you have to four. Here we go! Boop. Okay, that was a good that was a good time jump on my part. I decided to jump for some coins and I managed to jump over the penguin before he could smash into me. Nice. I didn't even know he was coming up on me like that. Bye. He's like, I'll always come on you, Mario. Yeah, this isn't snow. <laughs> If I die again, I'm gonna get a game over, at which point I'm gonna give up on this star for now. Which one are you trying to get? The Race Big... the Penguin one? Yes. We were just... Right, we just talked about it! Just making sure, because you may have gotten it while we were talking. I mean, I did also say I'm dead now. I mean, you say that a lot. Why would I say I'm dead now after getting the star? It's like, well, I have this star now, but it killed me. It jammed right into the side of my brain. What just happened there? I'm going backwards now! I mean, I'm not going backwards, but I am sliding down backwards. At least the rubber banding means he's slow now. Oh, okay. Did you find anything good while sliding backwards? No, I found death. Did you improve your butt sliding technique? Game over. Is it really just kick you back to Mario's face screen, then all you gotta do is press start, and then you're back in? Yeah, you're outside the castle, which is annoying, but yeah, pretty much. Alright, I'm moving on from there. Yeah, I'm kind of glad you taught me out of that one penalty we were debating about doing, where it just takes you outside and you had to look at Peach's face. Because admittedly, <laughs> after you mentioned it, that did not take that long. Yeah, I, I, one, of the, uh, one of the lifelines Ryan suggested was motivation, where you had to go outside, look up at Peach's face, and say something determined before you could continue. And I'm like, that seems dumb. <laughs> Ow. Got the hundred star in the snowy mountain. That was much faster than bob Omb Field. The hundredth star? The, sorry, the hundred coin. You're already winning that much?! But yeah, the, I got the 100 coin in the Snowy Mountain. That's a lot faster than the bomb bomb one. You take one good ride on the side, and you're right, you got over 70. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, he's got 17 stars already. When's he gonna come fight me? I'm like, <laughs> eh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like this rabbit. Alright, Womp's Fortress. It's gonna be interesting. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh, why didn't I go into the other? Whatever, I guess I'm going here. This is a good idea, right? I think so. What is what a good idea? Never mind, you don't need to concern yourself with anything. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I forgot the iron cap is a thing in this stage. Why is it in here? Is it actually necessary? Uh, it's... I... No, it's not necessary under any circumstance. I, I thought so. I was always curious why they put it in here. I think it's just because, uh... Because there's fire right up ahead, and it's like, here, in case you want to be invincible and run through the fire. Well, you know, you could be a normal person and run away from the fire. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here, so... On which one? The slide? No, Shifting Sandland. I decided to leave there and just go somewhere else, because I actually I, don't, I didn't mean to go into that, that one in the first place. So. And you were just like, well, while I'm here, might as well? Yeah, and then I realized, wait, the bird's not coming over to me. What bird? Uh, one, one, There's a bird that flies around with the star, that's the first star you get. You have to wait for him to get to you, and then you jump up and hit him. And oh, wait, are you talking about... Oh, you, you're talking about the basement. I yeah. thought you were talking about the Snowy Mountain. That's not Shifting Sandland, buddy! Sorry. I was, I, I've been in Snowy Mountain for so long, everything is a Snowy Mountain to me. Is that a, is that is that considered a form of snow blindness? Yes. Like, actually? I mean, in this case, it can be. Because, like, I thought snow I'm blinded by the snow. I, I thought snow blind... What is snow, bi snow blindness? Snow blindness is when you get uh, blinded or your eyes get uh, briefly uh, just, you know... Injured by the fact that the sunlight reflects off the white snow. 
It's essentially like getting glare off a car, except a hundred times worse. Even in Canada, I've never had to deal with that. So, you know what I really? have had to deal with this fucking bunny. Bunny? Oh, thank God. There's a bunny in the basement who has a star that you. Have, eh. Oh, I was just like, what, is, is there something in Canada called Bunny I'm missing? Yeah, it's a fucking rabbit. <laughs> also, I don't know why, but for some reason, back in the Super Mario 64 Mishima days, people called that bunny Mips. Mips? Yeah. M-I-P? Like, M-I-P-S, like the guy who sang This Is Why I'm Hot. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why. Does he actually have a name? The bunny? No. Not as far as I know. He might actually be called Mips, but I highly doubt it. I have no idea where to go for this area. Or this star. So I'm gonna walk over here and hope that this is the right area. I don't think it is, but I think this is an area for something. You know, for all that people complain about, like, the, super, the Mario 64 controls, they're actually really good once you get in with them, you know? I just want you're used to it. Yeah. Bam. Hmm, I don't actually know how I'm going to get the 100 stars on this one. I haven't Coins. spent enough time. Coins. Hundreds. Is there just a counter for that now? Maybe. Also, that was totally not worth any time whatsoever. Hmm. Now, where the hell is Pink Bomb in this level? Ooh, careful there, Mario. I know you're a gymnast, but calm down. Oh god, why would you do that, buddy? Let's see, if I remember right, he's standing down here. Yep. Boop. Bitch. Get out the way. Boop, bitch! <laughs> get out no, the way. No, it's pretty much like, bitch, get this out of my way, but not necessarily yourself. You know, I'm just gonna hop on this platform and go over here. Goodbye, bitches. I'll go for the star I'm actually supposed to be going for right now. Mm. Oh, silly me, I missed what I was supposed to aim at. That was much easier. Dear. All things considered. Twenty stars. Here we go. Yeah, boop. You and type it. twenty stars. Nice. I like making random sound effects whenever I'm doing things. It's just like a way of entertaining yourself. Ah, this one. Hmm. Buddy, talk to me. Talk to me! Who are you talking to? A toad. I thought you were talking to me. I was like, well, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> Talk to me, Rhino! Talk dirty to me! <laughs> Feces. <laughs> Good enough. I suppose. Uh, is there one on top of you? I forget. I don't have any stars on top of me. No, I'm trying to remember. I think there's a womp you have to jump on top of in order to get a red coin on this level. Womp's fortress? Yeah. Not a womp, a, th a thwomp. Oh, a thwomp? Yeah. Womp, thomp, stomp, chomp. My brother had this annoying habit where he always had got the two of them confused, and I'm like, no, it's the other one. He's like, they're the same thing. And I'm like, no, they're not! One falls and one trips. What would you say that thwomps do? Or sorry, womps do? Uh, I think they both try to crush you. They just do it in different ways. One has yeah. arms and feet and is gray. Or one has ar one has ar one has arms and feet. The other doesn't. That's fair enough. Let's see. You're down there. Oh, I knew there was one of you close by. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Hmm, 
There's actually more coins in this level than I thought. They're actually all over the place. Kind of odd that the first level is like a harder one to actually get 100 coins on. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, honestly. Like, at all. Because, I mean, yeah, you can get like at least 50 up in the air, but getting them up in the air is kind of a pain in the ass. And everywhere else in the letter, it's reliant on getting the red coins and other things. There's not really a lot of... There's not really chains of yellow ones. Alright, now I just gotta get up there. How do I do that? This is one of those levels where I got enough stars and then I didn't really come back. Coins! Coins. Sorry. Oh, okay, so I just got... Oh, right, I have to knock down this thing. What? I know you probably don't have too much memory of this game, but what level, as far as you can recall, is your favorite? Uh... Probably Bob on Battlefield, just because I played it so much. <laughs> it's just like where you learned a lot of things, you know? Yeah, I guess that's a good explanation. It was colorful, it wasn't too dangerous. I don't know why, but I like Lethal. Yeah. That was nice. Too. I do remember one I hated. That one with like all the tall mushrooms and it's a mountain with monkeys. Oh yeah, Tall Tall Mountain. That's literally what it's called. Yeah, I hated that one. Wasn't a fan of the water world either where you jump in and it and it varies the water height the world starts at, but I found it interesting. Uh, yeah. Honestly, it's not like it's not even because of aquaphobia either. I don't like any of the water levels in this game. Like all uh, not all three of them I hate. Watch my shadow and grab one. Yeah, the owl. I give up on the owl. Oh god, the owl. So he says, like, watch my shadow, and I'm just like, I can't see your shadow, I'm on an emulator. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. What? I landed on the rim of the cage, and it was like, did -did 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 -did, and then it tossed me off. Yep. 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 It did that to you? More or less. Try this again. At least okay. that's a quick star. Oh, okay, well, I'm dead. If you do it right, anyway. Mamma mia. Ah, oh, damn it. Get back here. There we go. This is a strong ass owl. Cape Horror Gabor's long lost cousin. And got it. Boom. What's the last one? Was? Oh, yeah, the breakable wall. Break away the wall, yeah. I, I got that one accidentally, more or less. Like yeah, I, I usually do that on those shoot to the wild blue one just because I'm in a cannon and I'm just like, eh, might as well. With me, it's more like I'm in a cannon. I thought that's one the one the one I was going for. We're like, eh, whatever. It's a star. That's pretty much it in this game. <laughs> Red if hot. A, if you get a star you don't have, you're just like, eh, okay. Red hot log rolling is really easy. Red hot log rolling. Lethal lava land level. I know that, but remind me which one that is exactly. You gotta like run on a log in you know, order to like move it along a path. So that to get you towards a star that's on the other side of a big lava pit. By alternate quality, I suppose you could just take the hits from the lava. But And like aim your hot ass. Yeah, but I mean hmm. Can I say I always found it funny that you could regain health in this game by getting coins, but you could also get it by just coming up for air. Yeah, I loved that. That made it really easy to in some areas to restore health. Don't get me wrong, it is easy, I just find it funny. There we go. I think, honestly, Lethal Lava Land and Bob on Battlefield are probably the only levels in the entire game where I remember what all of the uh, stars are. Oh, thank God. Get away from me. <laughs> like, I remember what all of them are. 
Are you really starting to hiccups now? Apparently. Oh, we got a pause. I was not paying attention. Whew. You paused? Yep. I pause whenever I hear the alarm. All right. Uh, how many stars do you have? 23. 24. Nice. Still right. nice. <laughs> Next time, we will continue on through this game and maybe keep using our lifelines because we've only used one so far. And maybe I'll eventually fight Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser Bowser's sitting there with like a, a cup of tea playing some video games. And he's like, man. Kind of bored over here, man. You wanna... I imagine he's even more bored. Like he doesn't get like, electricity in his little arena, and so he's sitting there with the table and playing solitaire. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "God damn, I'm so bored." <laughs> but the worst part is, I know when he finally gets here, he's gonna get the red coins first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, everybody.